What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a animation blend space in one direction. So basically going from your idle animation into a walk and into the run and etc. It's going to be a very easy video to follow and quick. So let's get started. All right. So first of all, let's create the animation blend space. Okay. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to create it over here. So basically, there are two types of animation blend space, and today we're going to only see one of them. So we have the normal blend space, and then we have the blend space 1D. You will want to use a lot the blend space 1D as the one they're going to show you today, because it's only in one direction. All right. It's not like going uh, backwards to the sides, left or right, like more of a straight animation. It's basically just because I normal third person controller just going from idle to walking so it's much more faster if you want to make a simple controller and i recommend it a lot so let's go ahead and create it. now uh we have to sign the skeleton in our case i'm going to use the normal sk mannequin uh for this tutorial but of course you can use your own character one uh name it how you want i'm going to name it tutorial uh blend space but of course uh, you can name it how you want. So let's go ahead and open this. All right. So when we open it, you will see uh, some different options and I'm going to explain what everything means. So first of all, we have our character preview where we'll be uh, previewing the animations that we have. Then we have the asset browser on here. So in here, we will basically find all the animations that we currently have available for, for this skeleton, for this character, and we can just drag them in. Then we have the most important thing, which is uh, I would say I could, you can call it like just a timeline uh, for the animation graph. The blend space 1D works in horizontal axis. So in here in this case, we'll have the arrow animation in here in middle, the walk and in the run. So as we go, the speed increases. Also, the animation uh, changes. So in here, you can see we have the axis settings. Well, of course, we're going to use the horizontal axis and the name we're going to put it into speed because it's going to be a speed. The maximum. Uh, well, this is the maximum speed that you really have set in your character. So let me uh, show you what I mean with this. So let me open it, the third person blueprint character. And you can see that in the character movement component, uh, in max walk speed is set to 500. So in my case, the max uh, axis value would be also 500. All right, so now we can start dragging our animations. So first of all, on here, I'm going to find the idle animation that I want. So I can just drag uh, this one, which is just a default ido animation, and we can drag it on here. So just drag it, and we're gonna put it where the speed is set to zero. Then we go ahead and find another animation, which will be our walk uh, forward. Um, yes, this one. So I just go ahead, get it, and put it around the middle. So now if we click it on here, we can set a more you know exact parameter, which will be around 250. So it's perfect. So this animation will set when our speed is in 250. Uh, I need to add the run animation, but you can see that if I hold uh, control and I start dragging, you can see how in when the speed will be zero and slowly increases, you can see how it merges into the walk animation. So it's really cool. So let's find now the run animation on here and put it at the end and you can see now how as the speed increases the animation changes and it deploys perfectly so this is what an animation blend space 1d works one direction so now we can go ahead and save it and integrate it into our animation blueprint so in our case we're going to create a new animation blueprint this is not exactly an animation blueprint tutorial we're going to see that leave it in the comments but we're going to create it with the skeleton and I'm just gonna say to tutorial, but I'm gonna name it to. So let's go ahead and open it. So basically, in your character, now we can display these animations. So in here, in the asset browser, I can find my tutorial blend space 1D that I just created. And here we can make it so really easy. So we can just drag it this into the outpost, and then we compile. You will see that our idle animation will be displayed. This is because right now the speed is set to zero. For example, if I set to 500 and I go ahead and compile, you will see that the animation will be displaying. So let's leave this at zero and we have to control the speed and have the same parameter as we have 
when we are playing our game and the speed that we have so just right click promote to variable and leave it like this so we'll have our variable called speed so now we can go up here in the event graph and what we can do is just have cast a reference to our character so in my case it will be just the third person character you can use of course your blueprint and then what we can do is just go here and say get character movement and then just down here it's the component and then what we can do is get velocity so we will basically know the speed now this is a type vector so what we can do you say vector length here it is and this will convert it into a float so now we can just drag our speed variable that we created, we created earlier and we can set it with the vector length so now we can go back into our player we can select our mesh and now in the animation anim class well make sure this is in animation blueprint and then in the class i can now reference sorry here reference my tuto anim blueprint so now if i compile and i click play you can see that i'm playing the idle animation but as soon as i move you can see how the run animation is displaying and it all merges perfectly and if i were to change the speed it will basically the animation will merge into the walk or whatever it needs so yeah guys that was the tutorial if you found it useful please like subscribe and comment other unreal engine factors you want to see and with all that said i am right now streaming uh this days the unreal engine epic mega jam so you want to see me creating a game live you can ask me any questions go ahead and tune in now with all that said bye bye